And joining me now is Kellyanne Conway, counselor to President Trump. Kellyanne, welcome back to Meet the Press. Thank you, Chad. I'm, I'm sorry. I really can't stand that woman. Uh, I want to start with something that Senator Graham said on Friday on CNN. Take a listen. President Trump could stop this policy with a phone call. He doesn't seem to acknowledge that. Well, well he can't. I'll go tell him. If you don't like families being separated, you can tell DHS stop doing it. Um, is the president ready to make that phone call to the attorney general, to DHS, to stop this policy? The president is ready to get meaningful immigration reform across the board. And Chuck, let me just tell you that nobody likes seeing babies ripped from their mother's arms, uh, from their mother's wombs, frankly. Okay, the issue that's on the table right now is children being ripped away from the arms of their mothers. Immigration reform, we can talk about that, okay? But that's a separate issue from what's going on right now. We can talk about immigration reform as soon as Trump releases the hostages. But we have to make sure that DHS's laws are understood through the soundbite culture that we live in. There are three circumstances by which DHS evaluates a child at the border. One is, does this child actually have a custodial or familiar relationship with the adult? Mm -hmm. And number two, is the child in any danger? And plenty have been over time. Some adults are using children to great, gain access to the border. And number three, is the adult subject to criminal prosecution? This is a vexing problem that both Presidents Bush and President Obama faced as well. Um, Secretary of DHS under President Obama told the New York Times this weekend that this was the bane of his existence for three years. He was describing the fact that they had to detain families in these large facilities um, for a very long periods of time. Why? Because in the summer of 2014, we saw this surge, particularly from Central America, uh, tens of thousands, if not more, uh, unaccompanied minors coming to the border and trying to gain entry. Okay, what she's talking about here is in the summer of 2014, there was a huge influx of migrants coming out of Central America. And a lot of, um, a big portion of these migrants were unaccompanied minors. So a lot of adults that were traveling without children, they would snatch these kids up and present them as their own children at the border in hopes that this would increase their chances, you know, of making it into the country. Uh, the Obama administration, I'm not going to make excuses for anything they did, um, but I will just point this out as a point of fact that they um, were forced to make a lot of drastic decisions in a very short amount of time because they were so caught off guard by the dramatic increase in mi of migrants at the border. So one of the decisions they made was to empower their border patrol agents on the ground to make the determination of whether or not s some kids, you know, these kids were actually under the care of the adults they're traveling with. Naturally, you know, some kids who were actually traveling with their actual parents were separated from their parents and put into detention facilities. Um, the difference with what the Trump administration is doing is, first of all, the Trump administration um, has a zero tolerance policy. If you are a child traveling with an adult and you are caught at the U.S.-Mexico border, you will be taken away from that adult and you will be put in a detention facility, okay? And uh, another distinction is the fact that the Trump administration doesn't have the excuse of a dramatic increase of migrants flooding the border like the Obama administration did. The numbers um, ticked down in 2017. They ticked up slightly in 2018. The increase from 2017 to 2018 was nowhere near as dramatic as that summer of 2014. So... Um, for the Trump administration to say that they're just continuing on Obama era policies is just disingenuous. This is their policy. They've had this plan in place since inauguration day. John Kelly is on videotape giving an interview a year ago saying that the administration planned to implement this policy, you know, and they finally did it on April 27. So, you know, more lies coming out of this administration. Chuck, I've got a teenage daughter, you have a teenage daughter. Can we say with a straight face today 
that we know what happened to all those teenage girls. Very left-leaning journalists at the time from Politico, from HuffPo, Jorge Ramos did a segment about the fact that these girls faced almost certain rape, trying to make that journey northward. Many of them were getting, many of them were getting um, vaccinated, or I guess they were getting shots for birth control because it was almost certain. This is a perilous journey for many of these children. And if people really cared about them, we would figure out a way to get the funding to expand the centers and to close the loopholes. These loopholes are allowing uh, open border policies. If the, I think what the president is saying is if the Democrats are serious, they'll come together again and try to close these loopholes and get real immigration reform. So it sounds like, and this is going to sound harsh, but it sounds like you're holding these kids hostage no. to get the Democrats to the table. To Yes. You are so holding these kids hostage. How else can you describe it? Together. Chuck, I don't remember a single Democrat. I could be mistaken. Maybe one murmured it. But in the one hour meeting back in January in the cabinet room where the president invited senators and, and congressmen from the Republicans and the Democratic parties to the cabinet room, I, I believe that your, your cable station covered it live sure. in full. One hour. Did this issue come up? The Democrats only want to talk about DACA, the Dreamers. Why aren't they mentioning this? But, but in fairness, uh, kids weren't being separated from their parents then. This policy they got implemented in April. This policy got implemented in April. The zero tolerance policy, where every migrant, yes. every asylum seeker is treated as a criminal. And that, well, they are they are First. subject to criminal prosecution. They that is an it, April it, change. So why would they bring it up? It's adjudicated. Change? It's adjudicated. What they should have said is, look, we had a surge over the border in 2014, Mr. President, under President Obama, and it, it shocked everyone, and we simply didn't have the capacity. We want to avoid that in the future and work with you. Look, the Democrats ought to just own it. Why don't they say we're for open borders? But they have to be serious. Look, uh, we don't want open borders. Why is everything in all or nothing issue with you people this is about ending the policy where you rip children away from their parents what about that can you not understand that he wants this to end but everybody has congress he has can to act. end it congress, on his own chuck congress passed a law that it is a crime this is a congressional law from many years ago many it's years. a crime to enter this country illegally so if they don't like that law a word about migrants seeking asylum so not only is the Trump administration narrowing the criteria for what is acceptable um, in terms of, uh, you know, seeking asylum, they're also physically keeping migrants away from the physical locations where migrants can um, ask for asylum without first having committed the crime of entering the United States illegally. So. They're, they're physically keeping these people away from the physical locations where they can ask for asylum. So basically, they're eliminating all legal avenues for um, these migrants to ask for asylum without first committing the crime of entering the country illegally. Well, they should change it. If they don't like the, the fact that- You can keep the families together. Why can't you find a way to still Do you potentially want the child in jail? You, you as keep the to families a together. Why don't you create a family detention center? Well, we had those under President Obama, but the Democrats are holding up the funding to expand those. The president had a 70 point immigration plan. This was included in it, Chuck, that expanding, really doubling the detention center capacity, hiring more ICE agents. We don't have the capacity. Those brave men and women at the border who are trying to do their jobs as best they can. This is an issue. And, and if the Democrats are serious, and if a lot of Republicans are serious, they'll come together this year. They won't just talk about this week, the Dreamers, or just the wall, or just catch and release. Wow, Kellyanne, it really does sound like you're making demands that we have to fulfill in exchange for the hostages. Is that is that what you're doing here? That's what it sounds like. It's all of the above. And there are ways to repatriate these families back to their home countries expeditiously. But I want to make very clear, because thank you for saying nobody is arguing the kids aren't getting care. A lot of folks are pretending these kids aren't getting care. You have colleagues in your network who are analogizing this to concentration camps and the Nazis. What a disrespect, what an outrageous disrespect to the six million people who perished at, at uh, that time. Uh, all right, I want to go back. I want to. Oh, good God, she is awful. I, wait. Who is saying, I don't even, I don't know who's saying that. I and mean, if they are saying that, that's not the issue. The issue is they're being separated from their parents. 
Unfucking believable.